Hey guys, Jamie here today on Roblox we're playing some more Monsters of Ephia as you can see on the screen right now. Also in today's video I'm going to show you how to get the Carapinch, I'm guessing that's how to pronounce it, which also you can see here sometimes found hiding in sand dunes. So for this one I'm just going to spawn in as Monster Arm, that's the... definitely remember this name, I just couldn't remember what it started with. Okay, so once fine. So pretty much all you gotta do for this one is you want to go over to the desert, which also is why I chose Monster Arm. Because we're already over here. So pretty much there's these little sands, little hills, I guess, or sand dunes, as uh, the game refers to them as. And they're located around the map. It's actually really, really bright in the day, so it's pretty difficult to actually spot them until you're fairly close to them. Now, there's quite a few of them around the desert, okay? And pretty much, actually let me just make sure my graphics are turned all the way up, they are, nice. So pretty much what you have to do is, you have to pretty much stay here, and eventually, some of them might have like a little cloud effect, or just a little effect on it. <clears throat> and what that means is that there can be something found inside of it, and obviously sometimes you might get this carapinch. Which also is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure there actually is another monster that you get from these, unless that was in Pokemon Fighters EX and not this game. So what I would actually recommend to, to do is actually to go on top of here and just like have your camera straight up. But also you can't really, you can't really get a good, um, <laughs> a good camera angle right now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cheat. And is it this? Yes, there we are. So I'm actually just going to cheat and uh, <laughs> use this for now. Okay, and there we are. So pretty much, I'm gonna have my camera like this until I actually can see some form of um, effect. Okay, so I guess we'll be back once ever we see one, I guess. So I guess we'll be back in a second. Okay, actually there it is. So you can see there's a little tiny, okay, I, I kinda went through the floor. Help, help. Okay, well, um, let me just get rid of this one. So you can see that there's actually a little effect there, which is kind of like a cloud, but also not too much. I think it actually used to be a lot bigger in Pokemon Fighters GX, or at least I remember it being bigger. So pretty much what you want to do is also walk over it, and you have a chance to get the Kara Pinch. Like I said, if there are any more monsters that you also get from these sand dunes, there's also a chance. Also, I'm not 100% sure if... If Carapinch is the only monster, or if there are multiple monsters from these sand dunes, I'm not 100% sure if you have a 100% chance to get the monsters from them. It might be like a little chance, and sometimes you might just get nothing, which I don't think it is, but there's that. Anyway, we have the new Carapinch, which I actually thought it would it's like a lobster scorpion combined, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's just a scorpion, which is fine, but... I thought like a scorpion thing would be okay, but anyway, let's have a look at the traits then. So Leopine actually had uh, it was the idea behind this and also made the model. Uglypo made the rig as usual. Usually Uglypo does all the rigs. Animation also done by Wolfragon and Lore by Sin. So anyway, the stinger on its tail contains a paralyzing venom which wait. The stinger on its tail contains a paralyzing venom that incapacitates inca 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 it's pretty. Carapinch deals with less intelligent threats by scaring them off with the fake eyes on its claws, and its hard exoskeleton acts as an armor to fend off strikes from predators. So, it's fairly quick. Its defense is then the highest, which makes sense because I'll say exo armor. Um, I can notice its attack. Its defense is actually really, really low to say. I've read them the long way around. I feel like the defense, I think actually it probably should have more, well, attack, yeah, it's got a stinger, but I feel like the defense should be a little bit higher than if it's got an exoskeleton. Energy is really, really low, but also it doesn't have an evolution yet, but if you do go over to the, um, the Ethereum change log, the new monster also is Carapinch and then a PSA. Kusai, Chromite, and Scarapinch will be receiving mutations in the near future. Stay tuned, which is really, really good. Also, it has two new abilities, which is Poton Venom and Exoplanting, I guess? Exoplating, whatever that is. So, also, Potent Venom. Poison inflicted by this monster deals more damage than normal, which also is fine. It is a pure poison type. So, if it was, like, like I said, I thought it was like a lobster and a 
Scorpion mixed together, which also probably would have made it Water Poison, which I thought would have been cool, but also I feel, I feel like there is a little bit too many water types, so it might just be a Scorpion, I'm not too sure. Then Exoplant Plating, so it's just like, I'm guessing like an armor. This monster's tough exoskeleton reduces critical hit damage dealt to it, so that's actually pretty cool. It could also make it so this monster just can't get critical hit at all, unless the critical hits do less than normal damage, normal base damage, um, which would be better, but if it only reduces critical hits damage, it might as well just give it like a, um, it just can't get critical hits, would be better, I guess, in a sense. But anyway, here it is then, as we spawn in, so pretty, pretty cool monster, I mean, the fake eyes. I think this actually is going to be one of my newer favorites monsters in the game. This thing is actually really, really cute, and uh, I can't wait to see like a design for the um, mutation. Also, the animation is slick as heck because your girl, Wolfragon. I can't say I was going to say your boy, but <laughs> whatever. But your girl, um, Wolfragon, actually made this, which is pretty cool. Also, she does. Ama an amazing job on working on the models and also the animation that she does. Also, Lupin has some really, really cool designs for monsters, but I think this is the best one that she's done. S that I don't know if Lupin's actually a, a guy or a, a girl, so we'll just say Lupin has done pretty good on the yellow monsters. I mean, also s some of them I'm not a big fan of, but I think this is my favorite that they have done, or that Leopin has done, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, there's that. What's actually, what's the set? Is it just Slosh set? It's kind of, kind of like the walking damage, I guess. doesn't really change too much. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. I kind of want to cool, quickly have a look at the um, fall animation really quickly before I end this video off, then. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool monster. Also, if you guys haven't got it, that's how to get it as well. Also, the camera animation makes sense. And then, obviously, this jump off. Eh, it's it's alright. It's alright. Like nothing too fancy, but hey, I'll take it. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it off there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Also, in the next video that I do on this will be showing off the. Uh, I guess I'll show off the rainbow on it now. I guess since it's since we have it. But also in the future, they will be getting mutations. So I will also come revisit it for its mutation as well for the. Um, for the rainbow, and also I'll show off the exotic in the rainbow form as well, but really quickly, let's have a look at this then. So, it doesn't really get too much right now, also get scratch, hide and poison sting, astonish, bind, bug bite, hypnosis, which actually is strong, headbutt and toxic, so not really too many great moves, like no, like, poison jab, um, is there a poison claw move? I'm not really too sure, but, pretty, pretty like, okay moves I guess, but also it's the first stage. But anyway, I'm going to leave our play. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, I'll see you guys next time.